Australia is known for the range, scale and diversity of its agricultural production, including broadacre, horticulture and dairy. A significant contributor to Australia's agricultural production is our irrigated agriculture sector, which consumes nearly 60% of Australia's available water. Water is a precious resource. In Australia, markets are the process by which we have assigned value to water, which creates incentives for water to move to higher value crops and encourage more efficient water use. Water is the most important input to food production. Establishing a market can help ensure water is used in its most productive use. Sound governance arrangements are critical to ensuring efficient water markets. These arrangements should include clear entitlement to transferable water rights for users, capacity to trade water efficiently and at a reasonable transaction cost, clear rules around trade and competitive markets. To some extent, these arrangements need to be tailored to the particular circumstances of each country and region. Water markets are just one part of a broader water reform process. The available water resource needs to be allocated across urban, industry, agricultural, mining and environmental needs. The markets enable it to then be traded to where it is most needed. Water trading is underpinned by a market mechanism that allows buyers to purchase from willing sellers. Water markets enable agricultural water users to buy and sell a range of water products. These include permanent entitlements to water and seasonal allocations of water. Permanent entitlements are an ongoing share of the total amount of water available to the agriculture sector. Seasonal allocations are the amount of water available under permanent entitlements in each water year. Water markets help Australian farmers to achieve sustainable water management and increase the productivity of each drop of water. They provide flexibility to help farmers adjust to seasonal variations in water availability. They also allow farmers to change their production to optimise water use or respond to new production opportunities. This is especially important during long or severe drought periods when there are opportunities for water to be traded to where it is most needed. Trading also assists others who might choose not to grow irrigated crops during extreme drought. Properly valuing water also improves decision making at the government level. In Australia, the success of water markets has been the result of a national water reform process over many decades. A strong driver for reform is increasing water scarcity in a changing climate and concerns about the over allocation of water. The National Water Initiative was launched in 2004, providing a set of principles for water outcomes, including the establishment of permanent water access entitlements separate to land or other rights. This enabled water to be traded independent of other rights. Principles have been developed for broader water governance as well as water markets. Australia's water markets do not exist as a single national market they exist as separate catchment-specific markets, sometimes interconnected, and all based on the same common principles for access, transparency and trade. Each market has its own geographical constraints, its own clearly defined water resource and water entitlements issued for that catchment. There are also specific rules for the trading of water. The majority of water trades that occur in Australia is for surface water allocations, with an average of 5,800 gigalitres traded per year for the 2012-13 to 2015-16 period. Most trades take place in the Murray-Darling Basin, with an average water market turnover in the last decade of nearly 2 billion Australian dollars annually. Australia has had more than its fair share of periods of drought with the Millennium Drought reducing Murray-Darling Basin water availability by 53%. The existence of water markets meant that the gross economic value of irrigated agricultural production during that same period only dropped by 29%. Australia's water markets are primarily used by the agricultural sector. Farmers have seen enhanced productivity through water trading and associated improvements in water use efficiency. We are seeing these changes in Australia as water moves to production options that have the highest net returns and market opportunities. 
More information is available on the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources website.